Number 64. What is the final concentration of a solution produced when 225.5 mils of a 0.09988 molar solution of sodium uh, carbonate, Na2CO3, is allowed to evaporate until the solution volume is reduced to 45.00 mils. Okay. So I'm seeing here, they're, they're asking what's the final concentration. Now remember, concentration is just another word for molarity. So they're really looking for the molarity, right? And they're saying that this has evaporated. Right now, usually when we evaporate something, we lose water, right? Now, normally we're usually adding water with solutions, right? Remember that a dilution is when you are adding water. Evaporation is when you're losing water. So it seems as if this problem is just a flip of a dilution right? Since we're evaporating, but we, we know a dilution formula, right? Which is this, it's M1 times V1 equals M2 times V2. Now, the reason why this equation works is that remember molarity times a volume or specifically molarity times a liter is the number of moles. The moles of a solution does not change. It will always equal to whatever you either add your water to or when you get rid of water. So when you're diluting, the moles will stay the same. And if you're evaporating, the moles will also stay the same. So it does not matter whether you are diluting or whether you're evaporating, you can use the same formula. The whole breakdown here is that you have two pairs of molarities with their corresponding volumes. We just have to find the pairs. So let's look at this pair right here. Well, oops, I gave you the answer, but let's just see, let's just see why it is a pair, right? There's a key phrase here. If they give you a volume and that's a volume, right? 225.5 milliliters of a molarity value. If you see that on like either a quiz or an exam, right? If they tell you, you have a volume of a molarity, these go together. So this is a pair. Very, very specific wording, especially if you see a of a, and then you have a volume and a molarity. So I know that these two values go on one side of the equation. Now it really doesn't matter what side you put it on because they're both equal to each other. I'm just going to put it on the left side. So the molarity would be 0 0.09988. That's capital M. And then the corresponding volume would be 225.5 mils. Okay. Now we just got to find out what the other side is. Well, it's just all the other numbers, right? The other side is 45 mils. So I know that that's a volume. So that's got to be this 45.00 milliliters. And what's M2, right? What's the other molarity? Oh, well, that's what they're asking for. What is the final concentration? What's the final molarity? So that's X. Now, since we have all of our values in one variable, which is X, I'm going to plug in 0 0.09988 times 225.5. I'm getting rid of the units because when I do my actual math, I don't like to put in units. I always just like go back and put the, the, uh, the final solution units in. So this is X times 45. Okay. We want to solve for X. So we divide by the 45 and yeah, divide by 45. You got to do it on both sides. You got to be fair. And now we are ready. X equals, let's see. 0 0.09988 times 225.5 divided by 45. Now, before I get this answer, I just want to let you know, there was one thing that I, um, forgot to say, and I just want to make sure that we can say it. You guys might be asking, how could we put molarity, uh, milliliters in, right? Isn't molarity usually with volumes? 
or not volumes, but liters. Yeah. But the thing is, these are going to cancel. This is just a fancy ratio. So with this formula, I don't care whether you put in mils. I don't care whether you put in liters or any other prefix with the liter. The answer will be exactly the same. The units just have to match. Okay, guys? So that's the whole thing about this one. Remember, when we did molarity equals moles over liters, this had to be liters. It could not have been milliliters. So just know the difference, okay? All right, now we're going back to the answer. So in this case, let's see how many sig figs we got. We got four, four. All the numbers have four sig figs. So my answer should have four sig figs. 0 0.5005. And then what's the unit for this X? Well, it was a molarity. Go back to the other molarity and see what unit they gave. They gave capital M. So I'm going to give capital M. Capital M for molarity. And that is the final answer. There you go, guys. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Hopefully this was, this was easy and easy to understand. Love hearing from you guys. You guys have been so great through this whole journey of our YouTube journey. Um, couldn't be here without you guys. Thank you so much for the support. Love hearing you, from you guys. And if you want to subscribe, for anybody who's not subscribed, that would help us out. Um, I'll see you guys all in the next lesson. Okay? Have a great day. Bye.